Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't going to make this review today because uh, I was like, you know what? Maybe they're going to have like a, a good main content SBC out. Uh, Galeno, I actually like the Galeno card, just not for the price that he was at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but Chalanaglu was released earlier today, I think like six o'clock in the morning my time. So maybe we would have gotten the review out to like eight, nine, uh, depending. Because sometimes I do like wake up out of the night just to check out the SBCs to see if they drop anything random because obviously Liga, uh, La Liga Player of the Month, if it's Vinicius, uh, got to be on that because that card was going to be... <laughs> Ooh, right? But for this video today, guys, we have uh, Chalanoglu. Uh, yeah. With this card, we're taking a look at a card who's 5'10", medium, medium work rates, right-footed, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Let's be honest. This is a concept card, right? Like, I don't really need to, like be political about this like it's a concept card because with a card like this in-game player traits he has outside foot shot traits flare traits in-game attributes uh we're working with some pretty tough stuff you know uh, we're gonna be boosting his acceleration to an 88 with a 78 for sprint speed so very important that his acceleration is higher than the sprint speed for uh general build-up play mostly through the cam position i would say uh base card stats for shooting is pretty low as well, right? 73 for finishing. You notice that from like a base characteristic usually with cards. Uh, but regardless, we're going to be giving him a Hunter Chemist style to boost his finishing to an 83. Uh, with 86 attacking positioning and 89 for shot power. So the shooting stats are not terrible, but I feel like... <coughs> excuse me. I feel like I will notice um the finishing on the card from time to time base card stats for passing very good on the card so hopefully that's good from a default perspective not improving anything on that dribbling i feel like could potentially be rough as well for this card one because of the way that the pace is set up from a base characteristic although 88 acceleration is pretty decent uh but it's mostly going to be in the average body type with the way that composure, reactions, bounce, and agility is. Ball control and dribbling looks good. It's just the other four that I feel like you might notice in game. Very good that he's four star, four star, five foot ten's a decent cutoff uh, for FIFA cards in game, but you know. Uh, base card stats for defending. He actually has some defensive stats, which is kind of helpful. 60s is uh, pretty, pretty nice to have uh, from time to time. When cards have like 70s and they're in the attacking position, it's actually very, very helpful. Uh, and then base card stats for physical is going to be an 82 for stamina. So uh, we're going to see how he performs in game. Uh, we're going to be using the 3-5-2 tactic, uh, which is going to be this one right here. So 3-5-2 tactic, 77 for players in the box. Uh, and then we're going to have Chalanoglu playing in that cam position. Uh, just testing out his attacking AI and stuff, getting into some uh, goal scoring opportunities as much as possible. And just check out all that kind of stuff, right? So, uh, yeah, we'll get into uh, a game, couple games, uh, and we'll uh, see how he plays in game. We move! Oh, God. How am I going to... Let's see if we can get highlights with this thing. Oh, and I greened it, too. <laughs> okay. On a white! We gotta go with him! Let's go! Yes, sir! Let's go! Oh, well weighted pass. Let's go, Z main. Dribble. Pass off. Make some sort of run, please. Oh, that was actually pretty solid. I got the touch. Let's go. We got it, boys. We got it. We're chilling. Hey, boys, we are. We're chilling. We're getting some highlights with him. Let's go. Oh, I whited that too. Didn't time it correctly. Didn't time it correctly. But the run was there. Oh my god, I greened it and the shot was on the floor. <laughs> It was on the floor. I mean, he doesn't touch the ball there, but at least he goes for the... Oh! 
Dribble. Yeah. Not even a shot cancel, just a dribble. <laughs> Chaladoglu, he set up the play without even trying to set up the play, my guy. <laughs> uh, his dribbling, man, is noticeable for sure. Yeah, the dribbling is noticeable. Average body type, you have to give him a hunter. 87 agility, 81 balance. You notice it. You notice it. <sighs> Giving him a hunter chemistry style helps the shooting. But obviously, because his base card stats is 73 finishing, you 100% notice it. But, you know, in FIFA, you got to work high percentage strikes as much as possible. You guys know the vibes. Is, uh, is attacking AI for a medium, medium work rate of player? It's not terrible, though. Like, he actually does move across the pitch in an okay way. You know, I do definitely prefer, like, the high mediums and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. He's At least he's moving, you know? Some medium mediums I'm just not like crazy about, but his is like, all right. Oh, dude, the ball was positioned perfectly, man. Once I seen him make that run, I was like, please, dude, let me just go for the bicey here. If I get a, if I score a bicey with Chalanoglu, that's going into, into the intro immediately. White time shot. That was rough. That was rough. <laughs> oh, he's fallen over people, man. That situation right there would have actually been really good for him. Like I, like I said, guys, he does actually make runs uh, with the medium, medium work rates. Look, if I'm like over here, I see that space right there. He'll go into it. Oh, first time. Yes. Let's go. We're actually getting goals with this card. That's kind of... <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, let's see. They, listen, the law passes, guys. Like, they need to fix it. You see how that was not an obvious one? Defensive play. Touch. Oh, I... I just needed you to touch the ball downwards so I can try, try you out on a finesse shot. Um, man, I forgot what I was saying. I was going to tell you guys something now. I'm it's gone. It's gone forever. Kalanaka with the defensive play. We'll pass off. Oh, that pass off is horrible. No. Angle drivens are going to do that for sometimes when you don't have like super high passing. But even still, an angle driven is not what you should go for. That's the space right there, see? So he'll, he'll make it, he'll make it. Pass it here, back in here. He should go into that run, yeah. It's a pretty obvious thing for him. He'll go back into position there. So we'll go a pass off here. Try to stretch the play a little bit. Go back to the CDM, comes close, pass it off. This is where the runs start to activate, see? And then you take the touchdown. Oh, we didn't green that. No! Once you see that certain attacking play, like, you get familiar with it. Like, it's it's really important to understand that certain players do that. And then, like, once you do, like, you kind of know, like, which areas of the pitch it kind of, like, activates and stuff, you know? So, like, right here, he'll activate it. See, right there. Touch it off here. Ball roll touch. Might do it here too. Yeah, he does. Oh, the positioning was good though. It was good. Oh. Oh, I missed it anyways. It's okay, guys. They they stopped the game, but I missed it anyways, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I missed it anyways. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Chilinoglu card. So uh, we gave him a hunter chemistry style, guys, to try to improve certain aspects of the card. But um, all the things on the card is uh, pretty noticeable in game, right? So with shooting, you still need to work 
high percentage strikes as much as possible. Obviously, if I go for like finesse shots outside the 18 and stuff, like you're going to notice from a base perspective uh, that his shooting is not necessarily going to be the highest, obviously. But the Hunter chemistry style is still going to be the go to when it comes to the chemistry styles to give him. Uh, base card stats for passing was noticeably good in game. I didn't really have a problem with his passing uh, for through balls, regular passes, law passes. They did come off really nicely. And the fact that he does have the four star weak foot to work with, too, uh, was definitely very nice. Uh, dribbling, you do notice in game because of the fact that he is someone with an average body type from a medium, medium work rate. Uh, not the medium work rate part, sorry. The average body type with the way that the dribbling stats work for the four dribbling stats, like composure, reactions, balance, and agility, you do notice that in-game, especially with the average body type, of course. Uh, but it's a card that, you know, if you use in the cam position, you can use them for fun there, but it's going to be a rough card to work with uh, from time to time, mostly in the shooting department. With dribbling, you can work with it. You can definitely work with it if you use them in the cam position, but... Uh, it's still pretty noticeably like low, right? Because of the average body type and because of those four dribbling stats. So uh, definitely a concept SPC for sure, 34K. It's a little bit unfortunate though, because to be honest with you guys, if they improved this card properly, right? Like let's just say uh, the Simeone card, right? So they gave this guy a player of the month from his 75 to the player of the month. And yes, you notice the dribbling and stuff. Uh, you notice the three star, three star. But this card on a Hunter chemistry style with those dribbling stats, with those passing stats, with those physical stats, pretty decent attacking AI in game, even though he's a high, high work rated player, makes some pretty good runs. This card was actually pretty solid. Like the improvements were great, but this card, they, they barely touched. Like they just gave it to him in the game for the sake of it, you know? Like they could have improved his base card stats for pace and dribbling and finishing, right? Because finishing is way too low. Like if it's like an 80, like listen, if they boosted... If they left acceleration at like an 80 and then they put a sprint speed to like a 78, but then the dribbling was improved by plus threes to what it is right now, this wouldn't actually be a bad SBC. But there's so many things that needs to be improved. So, I mean, honestly, the best way that I can describe this card is what this footman comment said. He says, what a thrash card. Give him an anchor and drop him in the middle of the ocean. One of the best footman comments this year, to be fair. I even tweeted it because it was actually hilarious, but... uh yeah, it's a constant SBC, guys, for the most part. Uh, but if you're, if you're good enough for the game, you can make him work. You can make any card work, but it's uh, it's rough with him for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys. Have a good day.